So stereoscopic GIFs are made with a 3D camera like this one. This one's the Nimslo. This is from the 80s and it takes 35 millimeter film and uh, it has four lenses. When you shoot it, it takes four images all at once. They're not the same image, they're slightly different because they're like a few centimeters apart. So you kind of have the same image, but they're just from slightly different angles. What we use this for is for GIFs. We take the four unique images and uh, we animate from one, two, three, four, three, two. First step is you actually get the film developed and scanned. And this is what it looks like after you scan them. So now what you have to do is make this background layer into a regular layer. You can double click it, click OK. All you need is this for now. Make sure this is on hide because you're going to be moving that layer or duplicating the layer. Press enter and you have your canvas set up. Now you need to uh, duplicate this layer and you've got to line them up so you, you actually lower the opacity to you know maybe 60, 50 percent. And you take the second image and you overlay it over the first image. And now you, you gotta make sure it's all lined up. Usually get back to 100% opacity and you have two frames done. So you gotta do the same thing to the third image. Duplicate it, turn the opacity down, line it up 100%, that's okay. And fourth image. At that point, you open your animations uh, windows. You can go to Window, Animation. I already have it open, but this, this guy pops up right here. And you can make new frames by clicking this image. When you click that uh, icon, it duplicates the last frame. So that's one, two. Do the same thing for the third, and then the fourth. And when you play it, it looks like this. Another frame, and then you go back to the third image, and then you do the same thing for the second image. So the sequence is uh, first image, second image, third image, fourth image, then back to the third image, and back to the second image. And from there, it'll loop back into the first image. If you keep this right here in forever, your GIF will just loop back to the first frame after it hits the last frame. So if you press play, you can see it play right now. I want to make this black and white because I'm artsy like that. So what I like to do is uh, use adjustment layers. You can click hue and saturation. If you lower the saturation, it takes all the color out for, for all the layers. And then let's do a little brightness and contrast too. And now we can trim uh, the sides of these. We can use the canvas tool here. And just trim the edges. If you go to the first frame, it's the most very right frame. And actually, you can just crop it on the left side from the first frame. And if you go to the fourth frame, you can crop the right side. Size it up to 500. And then under File, Save for Web and Devices. Black and white GIFs are usually uh, lower in size because the more color you have in the GIF file, the bigger it is. The more frames you have, the bigger it is too. This one's only got six frames and it's black and white, so it's under a meg, uh, which is like the magic number. And you hit Save. Happy. And that's it. There you go. You have 3D stereoscopic GIF of Nikkei. Happy as hell.